Well, this is neat. This is Hardin Coffee Shop. It's in Campbellsville. Uh, it's been here for a number of years. And Hardin Coffee is a great success story of small business America. Main Street USA still is alive within my 16th Senate District here. Uh, so I'm very blessed to have a good, good relationship with my mayors, with my city council members, uh, as it relates to you know, opportunities for infrastructure, road plans, and things such as that. And so we, not be, we may not be in the Golden Triangle, but this is home. Most precious priority I think we have within our school walls are the children. Uh, you know, and we wanted to make sure with Centerville One, the focus is on the safety of our school children, as well as those teachers and staff members there. And you know, who else better to protect than the lives of our students? We want to make sure when a parent drops their student off at school, they know they're walking into a safe facility. And we think Centerville One was a perfect complement to do that. I can't think of a more important bill that's ever come through this Commonwealth. The Hope and Colt families, my first time talking with them was when we had our first ever school safety working group meeting in Trigg County. Uh, they came over from Marshall County that day to meet with us as a group and to give some testimony. I'll never forget that experience for the rest of my life. Uh, and, you know, I remember when I left that meeting that day, driving back to Campbellsville, I called my wife and I just said, you know, I probably went through one of the most gut-wrenching testimonies I've ever heard as a legislator. And we've got to make sure we do this right. Uh, and we've got to make sure that we continue to focus on school safety, not just the passing Senate Bill 1, but the funding mechanisms that are going to go into place in 2020 with the upcoming legislative budget. We have to make sure that we're committed to this bill and to see that it goes forward uh, and that all school districts are safe across the Commonwealth. Most of the schools in Kentucky are located inside of corporate limits. So city officials had a real big stake in how that legislation turned out. I hope you'll join me in congratulating 2019 friend of city, Senator Max Wise for Senate Bill 1 and all the work he's done on behalf of Kentucky cities. One of my biggest attributes I try to remain consistent with is listening. Uh, and I think working with local mayors, city council members, and elected officials, it's essential throughout all of my entire Senate district for me to have those relationships because we talk about budgetary concerns, pension issues, uh, infrastructure, road projects, everything that relates to what we're doing in Frankfurt and approving, but also listening back home of ways that I can help with my city officials. I love doing what I do. I'm not going to do it forever. I've told everybody that I don't want to miss out on too much of, of my personal life and my family's life. But while I'm doing this job, I'm going to give it 100% of my effort and my time.